what are you doing today, Dust? <laughs> All right, welcome to Dust Off the Bricks. Uh, today we are going to be building two of these police stations. Um, I actually have four of them. We got them for a ridiculous deal at Walmart. They're thirty dollars each, normally seventy. So I picked up four of them, but today we're going to be building two, and then we will try to customize it to make one big police station. So let's get to building. the new police station uh, set number 60316 with 668 pieces so first we'll start on the ground level with the vehicles so we've got the police car here pretty standard police car nothing too special about it I do like the hair piece we have with this female officer um, and they did make it uh, a right or a left-sided driving car so it's not in the center and then we got the extra pair of handcuffs there and then the back, using a railing element as a cage to where the dog is at. And then there is one cool element. I don't know if you can see back in there, but it's they're using a fence element as a cage between the dog and the officer. So that's pretty cool. Right, and they put it right inside. Okay, they put it right inside um, this arch element. So it looks pretty cool. So we'll put this broken police car to the side now. All right, so we'll start over here in the jail. So this is the breakaway portion of the jail where you have, I think, a plunger, and then you have the toilet and, I believe, a roll of toilet paper. So that's pretty clever, putting that in there. And then we'll rotate it around. You've got the squirrel shown above I, i'm guessing this is supposed to be air vent and then you have the prisoner in there and then you got the bed there but then what's cool about this one is it has a yard area so there's a jail door there that opens up to where you've got some dumbbells and a tree for your outdoor area so that's pretty nifty i haven't seen that in any of the police sets yet all right we'll move around to the bottom area where you've got uh, your coffee maker and your front desk here and a little plant piece. So nothing special, really. You do have some information up here about Kaboom, uh, which we will talk about later. Um, up in the, the intake area, we've got the, um, the measuring thing where when you take a photo, there's a camera right there that take photos of the incoming inmates. And then we've got an extra pair of handcuffs and two radios and two pairs of donuts up there on the shelf too. Then you have Police Chief Wheeler chilling, looking outside. All right, so we'll move over. You have a little ladder here. You have a little ladder here that brings you up to the, um, the walkway to the helicopter. Helicopter is your basic helicopter. Nothing special about it whatsoever. No cool part usage or anything like that in this. So I'm pretty disappointed in that, but it's, I don't know how more creative you can get with a helicopter. I own four police helicopters now. So, and they're all pretty much the same in reality. I do like these uh, gate pieces. Like I said, I've, I bought four of these. So if I do end up piecing out the other ones, I will like having those elements. And then you've got a spotlight here. All right, you know what? We forgot one portion. On the ground floor, we've got the new road plate system and a dog training area. So the little sticks for the dogs to weave in and out of and a little walkway thing. And then you have some dog poop there as well. And we didn't talk about this portion. So here's the little command center to open up the little gate here. So we've got a donut and a control panel. 
but nothing too special. All right, we'll move up to the third floor now where you've got a little lookout area with a little computer. You got your binoculars and your coffee cup there. And then you can walk out onto the um, balcony here and oversee the whole entire police, front of the police station. Then you got your siren here. And, and I like these lights that they added. I think there's only two of them here. So you've got two lights there. And then up here you've got your satellite dish and two antennas. Uh, all together, I really enjoy this set. It's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to... Oh wait, I almost forgot something. Bad guy truck. So this is super creative. Uh, so you can open up the back. And right now there's a Kaboom's wig to shield herself. But then you can dump all the trash into the back. And the back has a little doors on it. But So there's Kaboom driving the garbage truck right now. But you can take off the wig and add this hairy man mask on so no one knows who she is. So that's a pretty cool hair piece there. I'm actually kind of excited about having a few of those now too. But, but yeah, there's... I like the elements of uh, the um, garbage truck. It actually is functioning, so that's pretty cool. And then you have um, the inverted plate or tie or what are these called? Wall pieces type of things that make it kind of look like a reinforced um, steel. But yeah, a pretty cool build. All right, yeah. Now I'll say it's all together. I enjoyed this set. Um, I'm glad I picked up as many as I did. So I've got two completed police stations now. So what are we going to do? We are going to try to customize this. I want to keep it on the same type of uh, base plate. So it's going to be, I think this is uh, one and a half base plates. Try to keep it on one and a half base plates and just try to build it up. Maybe do a bigger jail cell taller police station customize the floors a little bit more but let's get to building This is the finished custom police station using two of the police stations, which pretty much looks the same, just bigger. So here's the box of the original one. So it's a three story. Now ours is kind of four story with a small little uh, area up top. I didn't use any of the pieces from my inventory. Just tried to use the pieces that came with both of them. Didn't use all of them. Um, but yeah, so we just duplicated the dog park on it. There's one and we just pretty much made it extra long. Um, the sign was initially there. We also put another police sign there. The, the jail is the same size with the tree being outside instead of inside because the tree was right there. So we just moved the tree outside and then we also made a rooftop like garden type thing. One squirrel's there, one squirrel's there. But the jail's the same size. You can still break into it. It's just held together with this piece, held together by two st studs. And there you go. So it's the same exact police station or police plow. Same exact um, jail. Nothing really changed besides moving the tree and then adding some uh, stabilizer pieces. So it was a lot more open previously, which you'll know because it was in the video previous, um, just a few seconds ago. Uh, weights are still there. And then down below, I think it's probably just more st stabilizing pieces here. 
Um, can't really remember what was on the bottom floor, but um, nothing too much. And then the hel helipad is now higher. So you kind of just duck, put one on top of the other of the side elements right there. Just put them on top of each other. And then use a bunch of these pieces to raise it even higher so it is on the fourth floor, not on what was it on the second floor previously so you got your guardrails on each catwalk um these are from the jail so and then a little bit bigger helipad um but we'll go back to the, down the second floor so two spotlights instead of one um a lot of it is kind of just duplicate this is my first custom build of taking two of the uh, same sets and try to make a bigger one. Um, we have two more of these sets, so we technically could even try to make it bigger or just um, smash the whole entire concept and try to make our own. Um, but then you still have the same little uh, booking station here with donuts and radios, coffee station. So this whole area is new. So this wasn't here. So this is just an extra area. Same with the third floor. This whole entire third floor, I think it was only just one little like eight by eight area so we made that quite a bit longer larger i should say oh i just knocked off antenna on the other side um and then up to the fourth floor you have we have one of the jail doors being a railing just held together with those little clippy pieces got the um rooftop garden another booking area so i guess if the person comes in by helicopter um, which the helicopter's not big enough to transport inmates, but, um, but there's another booking area up top. And then we have, then we just raised up the satellite dish a little bit higher and put the antennas up here. Um, but yeah, honestly, I think it turned out decently well, and I like the gray pieces on this, for the roof. Because the well, roof is going to be white and the catwalk, so I think the gray, using the gray plates that were on the base level... Um, for the roof turned out well. I didn't like this at first, using this door piece as a railing, but more and more I look at it, I kind of like it. So you just have two cameras, two now. Um, all the other, all the other, other police car, other helicopter, and other uh, garbage truck all got pieced out and put into my inventory. So I just made the base plate a little bigger. If I do make a city, I don't know if I'll keep this extra base plate here or this extra um, dog training area. But yeah, just um, you have double lookout areas instead of just one on the third floor that was right here. Got two so you can see both sides or two sides of the um, police station. Um, but yeah, I don't, I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, not too bad. It's going to be fun if I took. Uh, pieced out another set and uh, try to make it bigger but well comment below if you think I should do that um, or just piece out because I have two more of these sets two more of these so I could definitely just also scrap the whole entire base map of this and just try to build my own custom police station with what I got but comment below on what you think I should do and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.